Hey, it's Michelle Schaefer from michelleschaefer.com and in this video I'm going to answer a frequently asked question about WordPress, which is how do you find the page or post ID number? When you're working with WordPress, every single post and every single page has its own ID number assigned by WordPress. That's how WordPress identifies it in the database. So you may need to know that ID number if you have a theme that, for example, the menus, you can pick and choose which IDs to show in your menu, or if you're using a plugin like a slider or image slideshow where it decides which posts to include by the post ID. So here's how to find the page or post ID. I'm already logged into my WordPress admin and I am on the posts page. If I want to find the ID of this particular post, I would click on the title, just like you're going to edit it. But instead of editing, what you're going to pay attention to is the URL of the post. So I'm going to copy the URL and put down here so we can all see it. Okay, the part to pay attention to is right here. See it says post equals 3354. That is the number that WordPress has assigned to this post, 3354. So if I wanted to make this show up in a menu or show up in my image slideshow, I would give that plugin or that theme the number 3354. Okay, so that's how to find it, and it works the same way with pages. You'll see page equals and then an ID number. Depending on how long your blog has been around and how many pages and posts you have, this may be a two digit ID, it may be a three digit, four digit, five digit. Uh, it just depends on how many posts or pages you've got. So it's going to be right there post equals and then the ID. But there is a quicker, easier way to find these if it's something you'll be referencing often. And that is by installing a plugin. So under plugins, I'm going to go to add new. That's just warning me that it's not going to save the change I made, which is okay. And the plugin I want to install here is WP Show IDs. Save myself some typing. I'm just going to copy and paste that here, search for the plugin. This plugin will show the IDs on the post and pages page. So yes, I want to install it. And while this downloads and installs, that was quick. Um, do remember that it's always important to make sure you keep your plugins up to date. Uh, any plugins that you have installed, if you see that little circle here with a number in it, make sure that you go through and update any plugins that need updated so that your blog is not out of date and possibly vulnerable to hackers or other problems with out of date plugins. That's just a tip when you're using plugins, make sure they're up to date. So plugin is activated, I'm going to go back to my posts so that I can view my list of posts. And you will notice something new is on this page now, and that is over here on the right, there's a column for ID and every post's ID number is now displayed right there on the page. So that makes it super easy to figure out what your post ID is. So if you're going to be using post or page IDs a lot, like with an image slideshow, or you think you might need it for more than just one thing, I recommend installing this plugin, and again it is WP Show IDs. It's free, it's quick and easy to install, and it gives you this nice column here with all your ID so that you can easily see what ID number WordPress has assigned to your blog posts or your pages. Hope this has been helpful, and if that was your question, I hope that this answer takes care of it for you and you no longer wonder how to find those IDs. This has been Michelle Schaefer from michelleschaefer.com.